What I wanted for this movie was a, a supernatural horror film. And a lot of supernatural horror films have to do with the devil and Satan. And I didn't really want that. Um, I wanted to kind of go the opposite. Um, you know, kind of return to religious horror. And uh, there's not a lot of those movies out, at least recently, that don't uh, focus on exorcism. And then again, that's, that's the devil. Um, this film does not have... Has, has nothing to do with Satan. It has to do with, really, with angels. The angels, I've always felt, they're, they're kind of a mystery. They seem to have a very, uh, very sort of, very specifically defined role in, in, in film, in, in uh, fantasy films and in horror films. And I, I certainly wanted to kind of uh, imbue them with more mystery, kind of go back to the mysterious aspects of, of, of what they could be or whether they exist or not. The other inspiration for this movie was this house, the house we're sitting in right now. And uh, when I first uh, thought of the story, I realized I had to cast the house. It would be the first character I had to cast. So even prior to starting writing on it, I started looking for houses and, and then I found this amazing place and I wrote the entire story around this place. It's a complete creation. It's 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 not so much a location, it's a set. It's a, It's got a lot of uh, stories in here and I guess this is just one of them. The Last Will and Testament of uh, Rosalind Lee is a story about a, a guy who inherits a, a house uh, from his deceased mother and he comes, uh, he arrives at the house, he's never been at the house before, he's, he's estranged from her and he finds that uh, she's been living in this uh, kind of like a shrine to a mysterious cult of angels. The entire movie takes place over one night and uh, over the course of that night this guy starts to uh, believe that his mom may be trying to contact him with a message and that there may be something alive in the house. It's a supernatural horror film. It's a haunted house movie with a strong psychological twist. Cut Source 9 is a feature film that I've been working on. Uh, it's a horror western, survivalist western. I'm calling it a western that's not a western. Um, it has uh, Mads Mikkelsen, um, Harvey Keitel, and uh, Roy Dupuy attached, and it's a much bigger budget project than, than this one. Um, and that particular movie is still, um, is still in the works. What ends up happening a lot of times in Hollywood is that, um, you know, when you haven't made a movie, they, they, uh, they want, they, 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 it's kind of difficult to get your first movie done because you haven't made a movie. It's a bit of a catch-22. Um, so this film here uh, exists because uh, because of that, to address that, really just to get a, a feature film under my belt. Because Cut Source 9 is much more uh, a bigger budgeted project, uh, it was just getting hung up on technicalities. Um, but everyone's still on board, everything's still moving very much forward, and uh, and I hope to get to it after this. I feel really good right now. I think I feel good. It's kind of hard to say. You have so many things in your head. You're, uh, I'm trying to... Um, uh, for me, writing is, is... I'm a writer, and so it's all internal, and I see the movie internally, and I, I experience it internally. So uh, shooting a movie, it's all externals. I mean, you're dealing with people, and you're trying to get the shots, and uh, you can lose your way on set. So it's, it's all about finding that... Uh, that that place where I was writing from and trying to recreate it here. I think I feel really good about the crew, so um, I'm really not that worried. Everyone says you don't sleep before your first feature film, but I slept really, really soundly last night. So that must tell you a little bit about how I feel.